Preparing and balancing your Ronin-M. Ronin-M Component Introduction. Open the packaging box containing the Ronin-M and its components. The gimbal is an all-in-one design and is a main part of the Ronin-M. The tuning stand is portable to carry. The top part is removable and can be mounted to a C-stand. The 2.4 GHz remote controller has a built-in battery and can be charged through the micro USB port. The intelligent battery has built-in protection with LED indicators for remaining power. Charger, power cable, micro USB cable. Handlebar includes top handlebar, two side handles, two top horizontal bars, quick release camera mounting plate. Accessories pouch includes hex tools, lens support and lens support screw. Different types of screws are provided for different cameras. Camera screws A and B only fit the beveled holes, while camera screws C and D only fit the slot of the mounting plate. Assembling the Ronin-M. First, set up the tuning stand which is going to be used to hold the Ronin-M. Tighten the finger screw on the tuning stand because when it is removed from the package, it could be loose. Press the buttons located on the lower sides of the support legs and then let the support legs drop downwards so that they face forwards away from the stand. Press the buttons for the upper support arms and pull them upwards so that they face away from the stand. Firmly press the steel button on the front of the support column and pull the stand upwards to adjust the height of the tuning stand. The upper half of this tuning stand can be removed by loosening the knob at the rear of the stand. You can use it with any C-stand style stud that fits into the hole. The straps can be used to secure the gimbal in place during transportation. Your tuning stand is now assembled. Install the handlebar. Take the top handlebar and then on each side of the top handlebar, attach the top horizontal bars by tightly screwing them in. Attach the side handles and adjust the handles to where you are comfortable holding the gimbal. Tighten the red knobs. Ensure the knobs are tightened in the correct direction. Make sure the handles are installed in the correct orientation. Place the gimbal onto the handlebar. Place the handlebar assembly onto the tuning stand and gently slide the gimbal into the quick release mount. The safety button should click and pop out once firmly in place. Note, the safety button should be at the back side opposite of the red knob. Tighten the red knob at the front of the gimbal. Ensure the screws all around the gimbal are tightened and check periodically with the included tools. After installation, please make sure that the gimbal is not obstructed during a 360 degree pan. Finally, install the battery. Loosen the black screws on either side of the battery. Gently slide the battery into the gimbal. Tighten the screws on the battery to lock it in place. Make sure the battery's thumb screws fit into their locating slots and ensure the battery is seated down all the way. The Ronin-M is now assembled. Mounting the camera. Camera screws A and B with the beveled heads only fit the beveled holes of the mounting plate. Camera screws C and D with the stepped heads only fit the slot of the mounting plate. If two mounting holes are available on your camera, then please use them both. You want the camera to be as secure as possible. Any parts hanging off the camera or accessories should be fastened in place and shouldn't be left dangling. The camera should be one solid mass. Place the camera mounting plate on the mounting holes and choose the mounting holes according to the mounting position of the lens support. Mount the lens support to the camera mounting plate and tighten using the thumb screw.
Make sure the lens support applies light pressure to the lens before tightening the thumb screw. If you cannot install the lens support because your camera body is smaller in height than your lens, try to obtain a very sturdy riser. Without the lens support, the gimbal is still usable. However, to get the best results, the lens support is recommended. Before mounting the camera to the gimbal, please take the lens cap off first and make sure the memory card and camera battery are installed properly. Make sure the camera and its accessories are ready for shooting. Ensure the gimbal and the camera are both powered off during the camera mounting process. Open the clamp and mount the camera. We are first going to perform a rough front to back balance. Notice the safety lock. As you slide the camera quick release plate into place, this safety lock prevents the camera from dropping out of the mount. Close the clamp. This is a rough balance to have the camera mounted in place. We will revisit the step later. Balancing the vertical tilt. Rotate the camera 90 degrees back and let it go to test the balance. As you can see, it is currently too front heavy. To adjust the balance, loosen the two vertical adjustment latches and slide the camera's position up or down on the vertical bars. Tighten the two vertical adjustment latches. Ensure the measurement marks match up on either side of the vertical bars. Manually rotate the assembly simulating tilt to ensure that the tilt motor is free of any obstructions. When proper balance is achieved, you can rotate the camera so that it tilts in any angle and stays in that position, balancing the roll axis. The camera will not fall to the left or right when the roll axis is properly balanced. As you can see, the camera is currently too heavy on its left side. Loosen the two lock knobs on the bottom of the gimbal to allow the camera to easily slide left or right. Slide the camera left or right until the roll axis remains level. Securely tighten the two lock knobs. The camera will not tilt to the left or right when the roll axis is balanced. Balancing the front to back tilt axis. We performed a very rough balance when we first mounted the camera, so now we will revisit this axis. Loosen the base clamp to allow the camera to slide forwards and backwards. Slide the camera forwards or backwards until the tilt axis remains level. Tighten the base side clamp. If properly balanced, the camera should be able to remain steady at any given tilt angle. Balancing the pan axis. To test, rotate the Ronin on the stand so one side is higher than the other. We see here the front end rotates from the higher position to the lower position, and that means the Ronin M is currently too front heavy. Open the latch on the pan knuckle adjustment. Turn the knob on the pan adjustment axis to slide the assembly forwards or back. If the back portion near the battery rotates from a high position to a low position, then you need to adjust the gimbal's weight towards the front. In this case, we need to adjust the gimbal's weight towards the back. As we can see, the gimbal is now balanced and doesn't drop from a higher position to a lower position when rotated. Finally, close the latch. The balancing process is now complete. Thank you for watching.